Hi. So one of the problems we experience with renders is their floor. There's a lot of talk back and forth about the, the weakness of a render floor. You know, when I look at it, it's kind of like a regular horse shade or a paint job. These renders don't wear on the outside at all. They look new for years. Whereas a standard horse trailer, a conventional horse trailer, has to be painted in order to make it stay, stay sharp on the outside. A floor on a brinder is kind of like a paint job. It just has to be done. There's been some talk about whether to do an original equipment replacement or a layover. By layover, I mean you take this board and you simply pull it to the outside and lay it over the original. I'm not going to tell you that's a bad repair. I'm going to tell you what I've seen. What I've seen is this the original board rots. This original board is made to sit flush with the top of this trailer and sit down on the frame underneath this, this board or some, some great framework. I'll show you in another picture what it looks like. But that board is completely supported. Everywhere the horse stands is supported well underneath by steel struts. If we do a layover, we create a three-quarter inch barrier between our new floor and the frame. If you look at this original floor right here, you can see the original floor is decaying away. Once we put a new floor over the top and seal it, it can't dry anymore at all underneath and the decay come, becomes much more rapid. Once this chips away, we then have a void between our new floor and the frame and the floor will begin to flex when the horses go in there. Is this a major problem? Is it gonna break? I'm not smart enough to tell you that. But I can tell you that if you do a layover, this board will go away and your, floor, your board will no longer sit, your floor will no longer sit on the frame. When this floor starts to flex, it pulls from the bolts. When it flexes in the middle, it pulls away from the bolts and will begin to pull the bolts through the wood. Again, I'm not telling you that it's wrong to do a layover. It's, it's a lot of labor and expensive to do the original replacement, but this one right here has fiberglass on top and bottom, just like the original did. We've got black resin on it. It's caulked completely around, and every bolt hole is caulked. So theoretically, no water should get inside of this thing. If we do a layover, it gets moisture from the bottom, and it will continue to be moist on the bottom. Again, fiberglass on the bottom, so it may not hurt. I just wanted you to be aware, there's been some talk back and forth on the page about whether we should do a layover or a replacement. I wanted you to be the aware, aware of the difficulties and possible fallacies of a layover. Thanks for watching.